So to be able to analyze your data that you've gotten from Google Forms into your Google Sheets, you're going to need to be able to translate these multiple choice word answers into numbers that you're going to be able to work with. So over here, like where you had them answer how many times a day they use social media or some of these questions of always, often, always, sometimes, never. We're going to translate these into numbers. Now you could do find and replace, but that might end up getting pretty cumbersome. So I'm going to show you some formulas to do it that I'm going to link on the, um, the Google Docs that's attached to this. So we're going to start by inserting a column, insert a column to the right. Um, and again, I recommend doing this on a copy of your sheet and not doing it directly on your original. And let me actually delete this real quick. This is me playing around with it to prep. Okay. So we have our new column. And I'm going to label this one. I'm going to just copy over this label and add coded. Because that'll help us keep it straight when we export it later to our software. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first create myself a little shortcut of how many values is it possible to be in this column. So the I'm going to insert my formula for that, which I'm going to link. So right here, what I did was I had a query and I told it that right here, I want a list of all of the possible values in this column. If you can see this formula, I'm telling it to return me every unique value from D2 to D19. And so it wrote me a list. So this is all of my possible values. And I'm going to tell it to pay, pay, paste my values only. So I have all my possible values here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what do I want the codes for these to be? So I want one to two times a day to be one. I want five to six times a day to be two, seven to eight times a day to be three and nine or more times a day to be four. So now I have my text that I have and what I want this text to turn into in this column. So the formula that I'm going to use for this, and again, this is linked in the Google doc that is linked to this video is I'm going to do equals V lookup. I'm going to click tab. So V lookup, my search key. What is it that I am searching for? Well, this pop-up box hit it, but it's this one that's right here in cell D2. So I want, what I'm telling it is this value that's in D2, the cell right here that's hidden. I want it to replace that value with a value from this chart that I've just created down here. So the next thing I'm going to tell it, I'm going to put a comma and I'm going to tell it that the range that I want it to look in is going to be D22 to E26. And you'll see when I type that of D22 to E6, it oh, D25, E25, sorry, it highlights this section for me. And this is what I'm wanting. I'm wanting it to replace it from this section. Well, made it mad. Okay. Now it's going to ask me for the index value. The index value is which of these columns in this sheet do I want to be my replacement number? And that's the second column. That's number two. And then is sorted. That just means that in a specific order, um, that's almost an old function that's retained from Excel. That's not really that relevant anymore. I'm going to say false and click enter. And this has replaced this with the number two, five to six times a day is two. And now I can take this and drag this down and it's going to give me these errors, but it's going to suggest I replace it with this. I say yes. And there it is. Um, this has to do with the permanency of your cell. Again, this is not an Excel class. I don't expect you to memorize this. So let's do one more example so that you can see what it is that we're doing. Let's come over here because we used several of these often, occasionally, always, never, sometimes we used several things that are formatted like this, right? So let's come over here and let's do the same thing. 
we're going to insert the column to the right. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to do the same thing with our query function. So in this cell right here, I'm going to do this query unique. And now I'm going to tell it that my area that I want it to look for is column J. So we're at J2 to J19. So J2 to J19. And as you fix this, you should see this highlighted how you want it. And that's all it is for this one. So we're going to press enter. Often, occasionally, always, sometimes, never. Okay. So we probably want in this example for never to be one, um, occasionally to be two, sometimes to be three, often to be four, and always to be five. Okay. That would make sense for the flow if we're turning this into kind of an ordered variable. So we're going to come into this cell, or first we're going to copy this over and copy paste. And I'm going to remind myself this is my coded variable. And now I'm going to do my VLOOKUP formula equals VLOOKUP. I'm going to click tab to accept, see right here. And now it's going to get this formatted the way I need it to input my formula. My search key, where I want it to look, I want it to look here. I want it to translate this word. So my lookup is J2, and you can see that it just highlighted that in orange. I'm in the right spot. My range, where it's going to find what to replace it with, is going to be this down here. So we are at J21, and I can click back into my formula do a colon to K24. Well, that didn't work right. This is mad at me. To K24. And sheets can sometimes be more persnickety than Excel. If you're using Excel, you can do the same thing and actually be able to click. Sheets hasn't enabled that functionality yet, which is kind of frustrating. Um, and then my index again, is going to be the second column. The number I'm replacing this word with is in the second column of this index that I just gave it, index two. And actually, you can see that I've made an error over here because I was one off. I said to 24, and it actually should have been to 25 because you can see the never is not included in this little purple box. So I want, want to change this to K25 to make sure my range is correct. And then I'm going to write false. And I'm going to click enter. Same thing. It's given me my four. Often four. We're on the right track. Going to drag down. I'm going to accept this recommendation, which basically makes this table down here stable. It doesn't shift this table as I shift my cells. So I'm going to accept this suggestion. And if you have several questions that you've done this way, you actually don't have to keep redoing your table. So this one is also never and sometimes. I can insert a column to the right, and I can just copy, control C, paste, control V. And it's gonna shift this over for me automatically. And it's gonna know that where I was wanting it to look was in column L. You can see this has changed from J to L. So same thing, I can just copy this over, maybe shorten it, when it da, 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 maybe switch this to coded. Okay, and now you have that one. And so all of your ones that are on this, occasionally, sometimes, never, always, you can keep going in your copy paste with the same guide that you left yourself down here. And so you can keep doing that with all the things that you had as text type questions, as Likert type questions. You can use it with yes, no. You can use it with gender. But that is how you convert words that have come from your survey into numbers without having to just having to do a continual find and replace option.